Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here, coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. We just got back from our walk. So if he's already had a big drink of water and where are you? Oh, there you are. She's walking over because she knows her name. <laughs> what you talking about? Do you want to come up here? Come on. <laughs> She's hiding under the table with her head on my leg. <laughs> She knows I'm on camera. She's so funny. Um, but how is your your super fantastic sparkling? What are we up to? Tune up Tuesday gone. How did that go today? Um, we've had a very busy day. Uh, we did the when did we do the live? We did the live at lunchtime, didn't I? Yeah. And my groceries did arrive before I got on the chat at one o'clock. So I, my groceries came. And she had them sorted into like bags. So I had all my cold stuff together, all my frozen stuff together. Oh, love it when that happens twice in a row. Um, and so I quickly grabbed the frozen bag, got everything unloaded into my freezer, had to break some stuff out of boxes because I have a little, I have a little tiny freezer. So sometimes you've got to break stuff out of boxes um, just to fit whatever's inside. And thankfully everything inside is wrapped. Um, so we did that and um, then I picked up the bags with cold stuff and got the refrigerator all organized and everything else and made it onto the chat with I think one minute to spare I think it was 12.59 when I looked <laughs> wow and she delivered the groceries at um, 11.50 no 12.50 because it was one o'clock we're coming up to at 12.50 so I had to I had to hustle to get that stuff done and there was a lot more refrigerator stuff than I remembered ordering <laughs> but that's the way it goes so, um, so yes, yeah, so I got my groceries done, um, got on the chat and it was, I got on chat and that was a, I was gone, <laughs> gone for the rest of the day. I literally checked out. And at one point, I think it was either three o'clock or four o'clock. I messaged, sent a message to my boss to say, oh, how is it that it's this late already? <laughs> I said, I'm taking a quick break. <laughs> I'd been sitting there for like two or three hours, just head down, typing away all the answers, typing away answers and asking questions and helping people. That's what I love. I got to help people today. It was it was a very busy day. It was full on. It was awesome. Loved every minute of it. Um, I love it when it gets busy. But, um, I'll get that later. Um, something stuck in my, you know, you get something stuck in your teeth. Yeah. And so. 5 p.m. came around very, very quickly today, like yesterday. It was very quick. It felt like I had just sat down, look up, and it's time to get off. I'm like, it's a good afternoon. And uh, But this morning, <laughs> this morning, when I was um, just doing a quick check on Facebook this morning, um, I was on the Fleetwood Bounder site, and it's a, a, a Facebook group. And it's a, pretty, it's a pretty active group. And you can ask questions, and then they're probably happy to tell you. I mean, Got my double-sided tape ready to put my ring door, my my ring doorbell on. Um, and why do you need a ring doorbell when you're in an and people go, why do you need a bell when you're a doorbell when you're in an RV? And I said simply because of the fact that sometimes I'm in because my door is not halfway down the back, it's probably a third of the way from the front towards the back. So it's only a third. I get into the bedroom, it's a lot quieter in there because it's just a it's four sides, um, it's just a lot quieter in there. And um, if the heat's going or if an AC unit's going, I don't hear anybody knocking. Um, and if I'm waiting for packages to show up, then, hang on. Sorry, I just thought I heard rain. I'm hearing things now. Um, and it's very quiet back there. It's very, not soundproofed, but um, it's very hard to hear stuff that's going on in the front of the RV, especially at the door when people knock. And, um, and I thought, you know, and, and for me personally too, it's also um, a safety thing for because I can see who is at the door before I get to the door. Because the only way to talk to somebody these days, well, unless I open up the window behind the recliner and then I'm talking out through double mesh so they can't see me, I'm just a voice. Um, but if I open the door, I have no security. If I open the door, it's full on at that point so this way I can at least see who is at the door find out what it is that they want before I decide whether or not I'm going to open the door so it's a security thing as well um and the fact that I can then hear the doorbell ringing and so people and some people in the chat was like in the group was like I don't get why you need a doorbell don't get it don't get it I just, it's a personal personal preference you don't like it it doesn't matter um so but one of the guy, but somebody posted into the group, into the Fleetwood Bounders group, this old Fleetwood Bounder that was probably, oh, I'm trying to think how old it was. 
probably late 80s, early 90s, I think. And um, it had a, <laughs> it had these big, fat tires on it. It was raised, <laughs> almost, you know, thinking, you know, those pickups where they jack them up and put the big tires on them? And you wonder how they have, they had done this to, they had done this to an old um, Fleetwood Bounder. And it had the big fat tires, and all I could look at the step was like about the, you, know, you get down the steps and you get on that last step, and that last step is like about this much. And I'm like, yeah, I ain't doing that one. I need a step to get onto the steps to get in. Um, <laughs> you probably need a couple of steps. And then at the top, it had like a big machine gun mounted up there, and I'm like, that kind of reminds me of the um, EM50 urban assault vehicle um, for the um, from Stripes. And so I put that in there, and this guy comes back, and his reply was, that's a fact, Jack. <laughs> so it's like, I need to watch me some Stripes. <coughs> I haven't watched Stripes in I don't know how long, and it's one of those movies that Brad and I would watch over and over and over and over and over again, and would see quite often on one of the TV channels when he was channel surfing, and so it got it was up there with Legally Blonde. It got watched a lot. So I got an itch in my throat. Um... And so I'm going to sit and watch Stripes tonight because my to-do list is done. So I get to watch a movie. So as soon as I finish here, I'm going to go put my PJs on. I'm going to make dinner. I'm going to get comfortable. And we're going to put the feet up and we're going to watch Stripes. And if I'm lucky, I'll get it done and <laughs> I'll get it to finish before 8 o'clock. So it's only 6 o'clock. Oh, how long is the movie? Might have to pause it towards the end because somebody will be wanting her T-R-E-A-T's at... Yeah. <laughs> At, um, at 8 o'clock. She's getting really good at bugging me at 8 p.m. Because she comes over the other day, and I thought it was like 7.30 or something. And um, I look down and go, what do you want? And she just sits there. very. She sits very beautifully for you. And uh, she sits there and just lets out these little wines. And I go, you don't get treats till 8 o'clock. And then I looked up, and the microwave said 8.00. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, you are like right on time. <laughs> so she had a lot of praise for that one. And what are you... Well, she's jumping on one of her two. One of the two things that she likes to let marinate for a while after she gets it. It's one of those ones that she leaves by my feet or by my on the seat next to me that I have to take with me. And if I don't, she follows me with it in her mouth, which is really hard when you go into the bathroom because then she comes in and puts it between your feet. And I just look at it and I go, "It ain't got." I said, "I ain't picking it up." <laughs> and I've closed it in the bathroom a couple of times, and she's been standing there just looking at the door. Just stare, she just stands there and just stares at the door. And then she'll like look at me and then look back. No sound. No sound. No whining, no nothing. And so I'll walk past again and I'll open up the door for her so she can go in and get it and bring it out. So that that's her way of having to learn that you do not leave things unattended or with me when I'm in that little space. Because I don't pick them up. Uh, but she's been good. So yeah, so we got um had a busy day, which was awesome. Uh, if you get a chance to look at my story, have a look at my story. There's a really cool picture of Zephy who is literally lounging in her bed up there on the dash. It is hilarious. It's um, just the way that I thought it was hilarious, just the way that she was laying there. So, um, But anyway, we're out of here. We're going to go get some, grab some dinner, put the PJs on, snuggle in for the night and watch Stripes. And I have it on DVD, so I can watch it whenever I want. I don't have to wait for somebody to, oh, mind you, streaming these days is all on demand anyway. But I don't even know who streams Stripe. So I'm just going to pull out my DVD thing and plug it in and away we go. Have a super fantastic sparkling evening and we'll catch you guys back here bright and early tomorrow morning for Winning Wednesday. Hey, Conera.